Hi, this is Afnan. I'm going to show you the latest uh, aquaponics set that I made. Actually, this is a redo of my single barrel aquaponics set. Uh, I've done this about almost two years or three years ago. I made this uh, single barrel set. And what I made here is an improvement. Basically, slightly better in its um, design uh, using the 20 millimeter uh, strainer bell and uh, this set is made from a single barrel which is cut into two portions uh, the top half not actually half it's about uh, nine inches of uh, the top part has been cut to form the grow bit then you invert it and secure it to the bottom barrel with cable tie at various location and this form the grow bit and the bottom part is from uh, the fish uh, tank I made few excess hole four excess hole all around I'm using this um, putty plates uh, the polystyrene putty plates as a template I just put it there and draw a circle and cut it with a hacksaw uh, sorry, not a hacksaw, with a jigsaw. And the top portion is roughly around 8 inches of uh, gravel or hydroton to make up the grow bit. Although the actual container itself is slightly more than that. But uh, this is made for a 8 inch grow bit. Internally, I'll use my 20 millimeter strainer bell water inlet is using a very small pump and, uh, it, it, initially i was using a 500 liter per hour pump which is this pump this 500 liter per hour is equivalent to around 132 gallons for the us gallon so 132 us gallon per hour but I found it is a bit uh, on the lower threshold meaning if there's something wrong with this pump or there's a bit of a blockage on the pump it can fail so I decided to use a 1000 liter per hour pump which is about 264 uh, US gallon per hour it's bigger this smaller pump is about 7 watt uh, not 5 watt as I mentioned in my previous video it's actually around 7 watt and the 1000 liter per hour pump is 14 watt in this uh, power consumption still a very small power requirement that's uh, ideal because we want to get an aquaponic system run with as low power as possible and the strainer belt that I made a 20 millimeter strainer belt that I made it capable of even being deployed on, on my bigger set and it works and it looks like from now on I will be using the smaller uh, siphon which make uh, which make the power requirement lower and we will save more energy and possibly we will be using solar to operate the aquaponics set right uh, let me bring the camera closer and let's see what is uh, this thing uh, made of Okay, uh, that's the strainer bell. It's the typical strainer bell in my previous few videos. I've shown you the strainer bell. Uh, the top part of this uh, barrel has been cut and inverted to make a grow bit. Water inlet is all. It's a 15 millimeter water inlet, and those uh, holes for the uh, in the barrel has been sealed because it's, it it is uh, a bit of allow some water to drip but no problem even the water drip is still uh, without it will only drip into the bottom fish tank right and that's the fish tank roughly around 25 gallon or more and that's a single pump that I'm using 1000 liter per hour pump and that's the siphon outlet and let's uh, switch on this uh, system 
I'm still testing it out and uh, running it uh, without anything at the moment but I'll be probably adding fish uh, later today once the water has been uh, cycled a few times I still no hydroton I did not put any hydroton because uh, I do not have uh, any uh, in stock at the moment Okay, water will go in and as usual it goes up and they will start to do the flushing I've tested this siphon with 500 liter per hour to 1000 liter per hour and it works without any problem right uh, this is a very short video the camera is running out of battery I wish I can make a longer one but uh, right uh, thanks for watching bye thank you